Hi, I'm Tim Martin, PMBA Pro. I'm here at Hammer Strength today to take you through a chest and shoulders workout. So with, uh, with my workouts, I'll always lead off with a compound movement. Um, it, today we're gonna, we're gonna kick off with some flat bench. And what I like to do and what I also have my clients do is, is a five step warm up. So when I'm sitting up, I wanna try and aim to have my forearm perpendicular to the ground. So that through the pressing movement, they're ideally going straight up and down. And I want my elbows to, at the bottom, if anything, probably tuck in a little bit to my sides rather than being too wide and too much stress going on my on my front front delts. Okay, so we were doing the bench press and now we've moved on to a dumbbell movement, bench being the, the main compound and, and my focus. So I was, I was relatively happy with a at 120 kilos for four reps on a working set there. So now what I'm gonna do is a, is a dumbbell movement. We'll do a, an incline dumbbell fly. In terms of bench, one of the, the common misconceptions is you know flat versus incline and different angles and things like that will work different parts of the chest, but we know through anatomy that there's just one insertion point. There's one biceps tendon that attaches that big pec muscle to your arm, which is doing the movement. So it, you might feel it a little bit differently in a different part of your pec, but not actually going to do anything better than that big bench that we did to lead off with. But anyway, we're going to do some dumbbell incline flies. So I'm going to do an acclimation set um, with about 50% of my working weight. So I'll just grab the 16 kilo dumbbells, five to six reps, and then we'll crack on for a working set with the 30s. There it is, set one done. It's between sets, the amount of reps that I probably take on something like this, a little bit less taxing than the, uh, than the barbell bench. Might be something like 90, 90 seconds, two minutes, that sort of thing. So third exercise in, in the workout today for the chest, we've moved over to the hammer strength isolateral bench press. So using equipment like this, um, We've gone from a press to a fly to something like this that'll be a little bit more of an incline. So we've, we've got some different planes, some different muscle stimulation, and this, this particular machine, as opposed to both hands having to work at once, you do still get to use them independently. So you're gonna you know, maintain strength and, and stimulus on both sides of your body. And um, with this one, I guess it's, if you're a bit fatigued from having done bench and flies, safety at this point in time, you know, when, when you, you really cook, you can sort of keep pushing to failure and you know, you're not gonna do yourself you know, an injury. Okay, so that was just the, my, my, uh, my six rep acclimation set there with just a, a couple of 20s each side. We'll bang a little bit more weight on and see what's left in the tank. So that'll wrap up chest um, for, for today's workout.